everyone. I hope everyone's doing all right. Thought I'd do a quick little midweek video. Um, we talk about rarities as collectors, um, whether they be DVD, Blu-ray, or you know box sets or whatever. So I was just wondering what people class as rarities because I mean there's a lot of things now people class slip slip cases and slip covers which I don't really class as like a rare thing. Um, what people class as rarities. So we're going to look in the den of filth in in the room and have a look at stuff that I think is quite rare or I don't really see a lot of. And uh, yeah, just hope you dig so it. This is the den of filth, as I like to call it, as you guys know it as throughout the years, you know, ever since, uh, you know, the, the 2000s. But yeah, what classes as a movie rarity? I know people collect slip cases, etc. So I'm going to run through some stuff that, you know, I just don't see cropping up or is is rare. Uh, I'm going to start off with one DVD. I've took this, the cover out on purpose already because, I, you know, I'm doing this one-handed. Um, this is the I Drink Your Blood DVD from Grindhouse Releasing. This was a limited run of 500. Um, and it was signed by the director, Bashir, stuff like that. I just don't see it cropping up. To me, I know... I know you know, I know that you can get the movie on, on Blu-ray, which I've got it up there. I know it's on 88 Films, but, you know, do people class this as a rarity? Yeah, the signatures are rare, and, you know, two of the people are dead. You've also got Lynn Lowry's picture there. You know, is that rare? You know, would people class that as a rarity? Um, you know, let, let us know, because I, I, it's a conversation that's come up. You know, I'm not really into the slip cases, but, you know, pretty much everything comes with a slip case now. Another one that is quite rare is this combat shot from Severin that come out with the signature and the roll bit of film strip there. Great, great release from Severin. Um, I don't really see a lot of them. Um, I'm trying to think else. What's rare to me is the stuff that, you know, um, what, what is like personally signed and stuff like that, you know. Um, I'm digging here. I'm digging here. So so bear with us. I don't want things to come toppling down. Um, <clears throat> you know, DVDs go out of print pretty quick. Same with blues. Um, you know, um, you got these old box sets. You know, this was signed to me by Christopher Lee. Personally, I, I met him. He was a wonderful guy. This is the old Anchor Bay. Um, you know, it's got the two different cuts on there. You know, to me, that's that's rare, you know, because unfortunately, Christopher Lee passed away. And I, and I just don't see a lot of these, you know, I just love the way it's like burnt onto the woods and stuff, you know. Um, don't see a lot of them. Uh, another one that I don't see a lot of, it's probably not everyone's cup of tea as well, is the old guinea pig box set. This is the German release with a T-shirt. I think it was limited to 3,000. It's got a poster in there as well. I ain't worn a t-shirt because basically I was a fatty years ago. I'm, you know, I'm not I'm not so much now, but, you know, I could probably fit in it now, actually, to be honest. The amount of weight I lost. Um, you yeah, don't see those steel, those tins from Anchor Bay. You know, you get the odd one or two cropping up. Um, what else? I, I don't know. It's like, this went out of print really quickly. This was the Once Upon a Time in America. It was the... Hard box directors cut, you know. I know that goes for a few quid now, um, but is it a rarity? I don't know. Um, Pinky Violence collection, great set, you know. Um, I just wish someone else would release all these girl gang movies, you know. I'm sure someone will do it at some stage. I know people are dipping into them. Um, this was quite rare. Um, it's now on the Queens of Evil Blu ray, but Johnny Redman, who runs Love Lock and Load website. Italian film thing he got together and done the interview organized the interview to interview Ray Lovelock and this was like a limited run of 25 uh, a few good friends chipped in including myself uh, and they've done the interview it's now been licensed out to Mondo Macabro you know to me that's like a personal thing that's rare you know only 25 of us have got this you know so that's a rarity to me you know um but yeah, it's lots of things. Yeah, I've got some VHS up there. It's uh, it is weird what us collectors, you know, d describe as rarities. You know, these hard boxes. I know a lot of collectors collect them. I've got some VCDs in the corner there. 
you know, I've got this John Walters set. I don't really see a lot of these with, with the bonus disc. Uh, and I've got mine signed by John. I met him a couple of times now. Um, so, yeah. Tell us in the comments what you class as rarities. You know, we've each got our own little preferences, haven't we? You know, some people collect steel books and uh, all that sort of thing. Um, and, yeah, you know, hard covers and hard boxes and all that sort of goodness. Um, this is quite rare, you know. The original, the taint. Um, come with, I've got the posters, I've got the soundtrack somewhere as well. But yeah, the pink edition of the Saint. Uh, the Taint, not the Saint. But <laughs> Ian Ogilvy's turning in his grave now, isn't he? So, um, so yeah. Would you would you uh, class as a rarity? So just a quick one for tonight. And uh, yeah, plenty more. I've got, I've got to do, you know, that pile there. Because um, one's being uploaded tomorrow over there. So yeah. What do people think is a collectible? So again... Don't see these, but that's that's another story for another time. Anyway, take it easy, everyone. Hope everyone's all right. Happy New Year. 2024 is going to be a good one for us all. Plenty of goodness coming out. And, uh, yeah, Corpse Mania on 4K. Who the bloody fault, eh? Anyway, take care, and I'll see you all later.